Hi, I'm Peter Straws here. The summer holidays are almost over and so is my weekly uploading. When school starts back, I don't think I'll be making a video every week anymore as they do take quite a long time and I'll be moving up a year in school and we all know what that means. But I'll still make the most use of the last couple weeks. As I said in the last video, I have a DeviantArt now and I posted what this week's project was over there. If you want to see more of my art, go check that out in the description. But that is actually my response to Cypress's competition, the theme being Blue Jay. Go check her channel out in the description too. Today I'll be talking about my ideas when it comes to designing this dragon and also a bit about my general art process in more detail. I slowed down the speed paint just a bit to give me time to talk and also to make this one a bit longer to compare with some of my other videos I've been doing lately. So I normally don't really do this but sometimes, especially when I'm not really sure what the finished piece will look like, I like to do a very rough sketch. So rough that I wouldn't be super comfortable to go in and line this straight away. I wanted this dragon to be elegant and also have two blue jays around her for obvious reasons. After the really rough sketch is finished, I go over it with a more detailed sketch, adding some of the minor details like the eyes, claws, wing detail and etc. I also change a few things, for instance I made her smile instead of frown and I also changed the position of the end of her tail. With her birds you can see their faces changed a bit too as I was still getting the hang of making them look like blue jays. And finally it's time to line. This is probably my least favourite part of doing any piece or animation. It just takes so long and it must be perfect for me to be satisfied. And I just love the sketchiness of, well, the sketch. I mean, it can be fun, especially adding all the little details to her eye and face, but it's just a little bit repetitive sometimes. But specific to this piece, I bumped out the overlapping scales on her head to make them look more realistic, and I also gave her more back spikes than I would normally. This is to bring out the feathery features I'm trying to portray in this design. After this, I just outline her in black using a few procreate tricks to make her design pop out. For colouring, I forgot about the palette Cypress gave us, but that's okay because I don't think I would have used it anyway, and she did give us a choice. And besides, I wanted the bird's colours to look at least somewhat realistic, and I wanted the dragon's colours to be heavily based off of them. As you can see, I did have a bit of trouble with the first bird, but the second one turned out much better as I got used to it. Then for the actual dragon, I faded her tail into dark blue just like her feathered friends and added the black markings all along it. She also has feathers on her tail. I don't know if there's something that's actually attached to her and they kind of just coincidentally look like blue jay feathers or she just wears a tail band thing that attaches them. But it looks cool and I like them. Then I just did her face like a classic rain wing, adding a few details under her eye, which I decided to make a darker colour. You might be able to see I was debating on it a bit, but I like the darker eyes as it makes her look a bit more elegant if you ask me. I also made her legs dark like bird feet. Finally I added some details to her spine, wings, ruff and legs. I think she might be a little part sea wing because the lighter spots in her wings look like they could glow. 
She also has the same squiggly lines on her legs. I just kept shading soft with my modified buzz brush and a light purple, which used to be blue before I changed it. While I add the finishing touches, such as lighting and background, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for getting me over 400 subscribers. This was mainly because of my last video, the Clan Jane Race Challenge, which has gotten a lot of views for my standards. Who knows, when we make it to 500, I might even release my finished mini Ivy Pool PMV. But that's for the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry my voice was a little bit gravelly today, I guess I've just been speaking a lot recently. Go check out Cypress video for the competition and all my other links down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment and make my day and have a wonderful week.